Antonio Vigoroso is a former mayor of Los Angeles. Other guests today at Climate One are Ke Senate President Kevin DeLeon and Melanie Mason from the Los Angeles Times. I'm Greg Dalton, and we're going to go to our lightning round, where we ask each of our guests a brief series of yes, no, true or false questions. Uh, starting with uh, Mayor Villaraigosa, yes or no, considering what you know about rising temperatures and rising seas, if you suddenly came into millions of dollars, you would buy a beachfront house in Malibu. No. <laughs> uh, Senator DeLeon, uh, in California, yes or no, rich people breathe cleaner air than poor people? Yes. No uh, doubt. Melody Mason, uh, true or false, many politicians worry privately about the soaring costs of California's high-speed rail project, but they don't dare say so in public for fear of criticizing Governor Jerry Brown's pet project. True. Um, <laughs> Senator DeLeon, uh, yes or no, you're glad that I didn't ask you that question. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> uh, Mayor Villaraigosa, in your lifetime, rising temperatures will drive some people to move from Southern California to Northern California. No. Senator DeLeon, uh, in your lifetime, lack of fresh water will force people to move their homes and businesses from parched parts of the state. Yes, no doubt. Uh, Melanie Mason, uh, Northern California is a better place to live anyways. Oh, false. <laughs> uh, you're talking to three L.A. people, by the way, you know. I love uh, the Bay Area, everybody. Uh, also for Melanie Mason, uh, Los Angeles is sucking up more than its fair share of money from California's cap-and-trade system. Pass. Uh, Senator, like Senator DeLeon, <laughs> what grade would you give Arnold Schwarzenegger for his time as governor? I didn't serve uh, with, uh, well, I did serve a couple years. Uh, <laughs> so, so that thing about it. You know, uh, on climate change, I'd give him an A, no doubt. Uh, Mayor Viragosa, what grade would you give Arnold Schwarzenegger's films? <laughs> F, Arnold, I love you, but I, yeah, I can't give you. I'm out there, they make a lot of money. <laughs> but, yeah. uh, also, Mayor Villaraigosa, <laughs> former San Francisco Mayor Gavin Newsom would be a strong California governor. <laughs> no. Was it pass no. or fail? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, no, maybe. You know, look, it, Gavin's a, uh, is a talented person and certainly qualified uh, to be governor, and so are a lot of other people. <laughs> Senator DeLeon, uh, Antonio Villaraigosa would be a strong California governor. I think so, uh, very much so. Um, and I think that you want folks who actually have uh, real uh, accomplishments that, that can be verified and not just articulated in speeches. Also for Senator DeLeon, you, uh, <laughs> you and uh, Mayor Villaraigosa both have ambitions of being California's first Latino governor. Oh, I'm sorry, say it again. Um, <laughs> You and uh, Mayor Villaraigosa both have ambitions of being California's first Latino governor. I'm happy uh, in my current role as president of the Senate. Uh, Melanie Mason, you're, in watching, you're enjoying watching these two politicians answer these questions. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, Melanie Mason, you predict billionaire Tom Steyer will run for California governor in 2018. Oh. Um... Hmm. <laughs> I'm actually stumped. Um, yeah, I'll say yes. Uh, Melanie Mason, you predict investor Steve Wesley will also run for governor in 2018. Yes. Uh, Kevin DeLeon, uh, in 2008, Los Angeles voters approved an increase to sales tax. We've been talking about Measure R, $40 billion over 30 years for new transit lines and freeways. Mayor Villaraigosa gets too much credit for the passage of that measure, yes or no? Uh, no, he does not get enough credit. Uh, Mayor Villaraigosa, Kevin DeLeon got too much credit for recent passage of a law extending California's fight against global warming. Yes. No, he didn't get an, enough credit. He, he battled uh, for that and should have, have, should have had a lot more people in powerful positions supporting him. Melanie Mason, uh, State Senate President Kevin DeLeon will run for Lieutenant Governor in 2018 when he's termed out of office. Pass. Um, 
shoots my final question, which if he, if he did, then he would start wearing his hair like the current lieutenant. Forget that. Okay, let's give, them a, uh, uh, let's give them a round of applause for that lightning round they got through the gauntlet. 